Welcome to the Produce Moms Podcast, where we believe there is a produce mom in all of us. I'm Lori Taylor, founder and CEO of the Produce Moms. For 10 years, I sold fresh produce to over 300 grocery stores in the U.S. And today, my team and I are fully focused on inspiring people to eat more fruits and vegetables. This show is just one of the ways that we hope to inspire you and your family to eat more produce and live a better life. If you like what you're hearing on the podcast, join our community of almost 40,000 in all 50 states and over 30 countries by visiting theproducemoms.com slash subscribe. And be sure to subscribe and leave us a review on iTunes. Thanks for being here. Enjoy today's show. Welcome back, everyone. Today is a very special edition of the Produce Moms podcast. As a matter of fact, this is our first special edition. Uh, Every single Wednesday, we're typically coming at you with new episodes. We actually have this week's episode publishing on Earth Day. So happy Earth Day to all of our listeners. Um, And we have brought in a real produce industry and agriculture expert to be our guest today. We are welcoming Hans Sauter. He has over 30 years of experience He currently serves as the Senior Vice President of Research and Development at Del Monte Fresh Produce. Yes, that's right. Del Monte, the brand that you all know and love. We are so excited to welcome Hans to today's show and to help teach us a little bit more about sustainability and all the good things that are happening at Del Monte Fresh. So Hans, welcome to the show today. Thank you, Lori. Very excited to be with you. Oh, thank you. So this is... um, you know, this, I think that uh, the way I really want to, to kind of tee up today's conversation, you know, I spent some time on the Del Monte Fresh Produce website and you have an entire, you know, several pages, an entire section of your website dedicated to your sustainability practices. So on this Earth Day, I really want to dive into a few topics and they can be, uh, you know, they're really environmental, uh, resource use, biodiversity, waste management as well as, um, you know, social, the communities, employees. So those are going to be kind of the topics that I want to touch base with you on. And goodness, 30 years, sounds like you're the, the guy to talk to about all things Del Monte Fresh Produce. So uh, before we really dive into these topics, Hans, please tell, tell me, tell our listeners a little bit more about your role at Del Monte Fresh. So Lori, um, I'm uh in charge of uh, research and development and th- how that relates to sustainability is uh, that we look at sustainability from a um, scientific um, point of view. We measure our processes, we uh, create awareness within our organization and develop programs to deal with our Environment, uh, environmental impact in the most uh, uh, conscious and uh, efficient way. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it really sounds like Del Monte is an ideal brand to take the spotlight on Earth Day. I mean, it, it's really a commitment for you all that is a that's part of your day to day culture, without doubt. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we are very excited to have this conversation, have the possibility of sharing. Uh, what we have done for so many years without really uh, going out and uh, talking too much about it, but really working from the bottom, from the farm, uh, in creating this culture of uh, sustainability that we are now uh, starting to share with a larger public because We believe it's not only our duty to take good care of our own uh, um, operations, but also motivate and inspire other uh, businesses to do the same in this very important moment uh, our planet is going through. Isn't that the truth? Well, thank you. And thanks again for, for being part of this special edition episode focused on Earth Day, focused on all the good work that you are doing at Del Monte Fresh Produce. So let's, let's really go ahead and dive in. Um, in preparation for today's episode, I spent some, some time on the website, freshdelmonte.com, 
And, you know, there are, like I said, at the top of the show, a few pillars or categories to your environmental sustainability. So I really want to kind of explore all of these. Um, The first category that you call out is the fauna and flora. So please, let's let's talk a little bit about the effects that farming can have on the ecosystem and what Del Monte Fresh Produce does to protect the fauna and flora in your growing regions. So, Lori, there is uh, a reality, and it is that whenever you farm, you are occupying space, which was uh, previously occupied by uh, species, uh, local species. And if you don't provide a, an area where those uh, uh, plants and animals can actually take refuge and still continue to uh, flourish, uh, you are competing with them. And we understood that from very early on. Um, did actually study our farms in detail to determine which areas were the best areas to be able to farm and then which areas needed to be set aside to not only protect the uh, uh, flora and fauna, but also water uh, resources, which are critical, uh, not only to our operation, but to the community surrounding those farms. Sure, sure. So, yeah, let's let's talk a little bit about uh, resource management. I mean, water, uh, gosh, I'm, I'm yet to meet someone in, in farming or fresh produce where water isn't top of mind always, but, you know, it goes beyond that. And, and you do a nice job on the website of of really uh, calling out all of the all of the resources that you're mindful of in your operations, so air, energy, soil, and water. Um, Hans, help us understand uh, what you're doing at Del Monte Fresh to protect and conserve. Water uh, definitely is uh, on the spotlight today, and uh, water is essential for any agricultural activity. Yeah, we have invested in um, more efficient irrigation systems, uh, drip tape, which basically delivers water right at the plant where it's needed instead of uh, uh, having inefficient spread of uh, water in areas where the the plants are not necessarily uh, growing. Um, But also in our Packing houses, uh, for example, in the banana operations, we have uh, redesigned the uh, water tanks to be able to operate with less uh, water and be able to uh, deliver clean water after the process. Uh, In terms of limiting or conserving uh, uh, soil, we have designed agricultural processes to limit soil erosion, uh, building drainage ditches and uh, farming in the natural contour of the of the farm, so that it can prevent uh, soil soil erosion and capturing whatever soil is actually moved by rain uh, through these uh, structures. Uh, using either filters or traps for that soil that could be eroded. If we go to energy, uh, we track all of our energy consumption to create awareness programs and have invested in uh, solar panels in Costa Rica, um, but in also in other uh, operations in other countries. Um, One of the most exciting news we have lately is we uh, erected a wind turbine in our operation in Salinas, the new build that we're uh, constructing right now. And that turbine is, will be operational in a few months. Ah, right Uh, here in Salinas, California. 
in Salinas, California. Yeah. Fantastic. Good. Well, I hope to see it soon. Amazing. Congratulations and thank you. And also in in uh, Gloucester, which is uh, in New Jersey, it's the largest port we have. We uh, have about one million square feet of solar panels that uh, provide a significant amount of the energy that we need in that facility to cool uh, or maintain the uh, produce coal. So we are uh, doing these uh, uh, efforts in terms of energy conservation, not only abroad, but also back here in North America, which is really important for us. Yeah, no, it's amazing. Thank you for sharing. Um, and then, you know, let's talk about, let's talk about the topic that I think most of your everyday consumers most closely identify with and connect to Earth Day. And that is waste management. So the concept of reduce, reuse, recycle, um, tell us a little bit more about Del Monte Fresh Produce's programs as it relates to waste management and your environmental sustainability practices. This is a really uh, exciting area. We were very early adopters of uh, plastic recycling in our banana farms, uh, working collabor collaboratively with our competitors. We established a, a facility where we turn the banana uh, fruit bags into um, corner posts and other uh, materials that essentially allowed us to reuse that plastic instead of that going into uh, landfill. Right. Uh, so in essence, has helped us in the last 20 years to, to protect our environment. Right. And um, I love, I love what you just mentioned there, Hans, about how it was a collaborative effort, even with some of your direct competitors. I really want to call that out to our listeners today. That is so important. And it's a culture point for Del Monte Fresh Produce that I think any of your consumers can be very proud of. When it comes to sustainability, you guys are just totally laser focused on the common good and the mission at hand. Uh, even, even having uh, examples like this, where you've been very collaborative and working hand in hand with your direct competitors. So I definitely want to call attention to that specifically because I find it um, remarkable and heartwarming. So thank you. Definitely. It's a, a huge task in front of all of us. And unless we collaborate and inspire each other, uh, it's not going to get us as far as we need to. We're also mm -hmm. using uh, technology now that uh, uh, there is more uh, technology out there that you can uh, bring into farming. Drones, for example, and GPS guided uh, tractors to reduce the amount of uh, resources, uh, fertilizers or uh, pesticides that you need to apply to be able to localize them only where they are needed. And, and that is key to being every day more efficient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. And, you know, I, also another, another pulse point um, for all of our followers is packaging. I mean, the concept of plastic reduction is, you know, top of mind for our followers at the produce moms. We get a lot of questions about it. Um, and I'm always, I'm always uh, very inspired by the work that our that our brand partners and that this industry is doing to to really answer the call and be the leaders in that arena um, for regarding sustainable packaging alternatives. Anything specific, Hans, that you would like to share on what Del Monte Fresh Produce is doing in terms of sustainable packaging alternatives? Sure. Uh, in the last uh, twenty years, we have been working hard on our. Uh, pineapple cardboard boxes. Uh, we have been able to reduce by as much as 30% uh, the amount of uh, raw material going into them, making them more uh, sustainable. And all of the uh, cardboard that we use to transport our uh, fruit, 
we actually uh, recover at the um, des destination and recycle it. Uh, so we're wow. very proud of that effort. We're also obviously exploring other alternatives uh, with the, um, within the realm yeah. of uh, plastics. That is definitely an area that needs a lot of uh, research, but we are uh, very proud of the work that we have done so far. Yeah, you should be. What a commitment, following that package all the way to the destination and then making sure that it's uh, recovered and recycled. So thank you. That is that is sustainability in action, folks. Um, so that's, and that's why Del Monte Fresh Produce is here on the show today. Um, it's a very important topic. Earth Day just becomes more and more important each and every year with what we are battling as a global community. Um, so speaking of a global community, I mean, obviously Del Monte Fresh Produce is, you know, you're, you're working to feed the world and uh, you have, you know, farms in many countries to help do that. So how, how do you assure that all of these important and noble company policies are enforced? This is a very important uh, question because we operate not only from our farms, but we also work with other growers and for that effect we have uh, uh, actively uh, made it into a requirement for these farms to be cer certified under internationally recognized standards like uh, global gap or sustainability uh, standards like uh, sustainably grown and as of uh, today, we can proudly say that uh, close to 78% of our whole volume has already been certified as sustainably uh, grown. And we're obviously pushing for to get to that 100% uh, 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 hopefully in a, in a few years. Um, and all of this relies on third-party audits. So it's not what we say, but what other uh, organizations that come and see and certify that what we're doing is actually, or what we're saying is actually what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. So it's, you know, third-party audits are really... Um that's really where you separate the, the propaganda from the fact right there with those third party audits. And uh, it's a very important part of agriculture. And certainly it's the standard at Del Monte Fresh Produce. So um, very, very good to know that these are, these are global certifications and they are audited by third parties. That is just critical for your consumers to know. Um, so thank you for sharing that. Um, Let's talk a little bit now, um, because really when I think about Earth Day and what it means to take care of our Mother Earth, that also means taking care of people and communities. And, you know, I was able to witness this in action during my recent visit to the Del Monte Fresh Produce Farms in Costa Rica. Um, any highlights, Hans, from your social responsibility efforts that you would like to share with our listeners today? Sure. Um, with so many uh, farms in so many countries interacting uh, and partnering with uh, the communities, the local communities is essential to our uh, activities. And uh, we have over all these years uh, created programs to support uh, schools and not only in terms of helping them uh, with infrastructure, in terms of uh, uh, providing blueprints or helping with machinery, but most importantly, helping students with their scholarships or uh, school materials. And a lot of these kids now, after so many years, have actually uh, been able to join us and uh, work in 
administrative or managerial uh, positions. So it's part of uh, making sure that the community and our operations are working synergistically and uh, helping develop those, uh, those areas. Yeah, I mean, it's real empowerment. That's what, as you're explaining this, I'm just thinking, wow, what an empowering company Del Monte Fresh Produce is for the communities and the people in the areas where you're farming. So there's just a lot um, behind every single piece of fresh produce that you consume, folks. Um, when you see that Del Monte Fresh logo, that's, you know, that, that, that's what my takeaway will be from this show. You know, it's, it's, there's a lot of goodness behind it. A lot of, a lot of deliberate action to protect the environment and to protect uh, the people. And, you know, Hans, what, do, what do you want people to know the next time they see the Del Monte fresh produce logo at the grocery store? What's the one thing that you want our listeners today to kind of take away? Definitely that when they are choosing Del Monte fresh produce, they're not just choosing a product that enables people all around the globe to enjoy healthier lifestyles uh, from the people who work to grow and pr produce the product all the way through to the consumer who picks up that product in the grocery store. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And a company that people like Hans make a, make a lifetime of. I mean, 30 years working <laughs> at... Uh, <laughs> Del Monte Fresh Produce. So Hans, thank you for coming on the show today, sharing your passion. I mean, my goodness, this is your passion. And you could tell by the stories and, and the way that you were, you were sharing your knowledge with our listeners today. Uh, thank you for that. Thank you for caring so much about our environment and for being our very first special edition guest on the Produce Moms podcast. So, you know, we do have a tradition at the podcast. We always throw the microphone back to our guests for the final remarks and goodbyes to our listeners. So before we do that, I, I just want to reiterate one more time how thankful I am that you came on today, how much I appreciate the good work that's happening at Del Monte Fresh Produce, the collaboration, the mission-driven work to protect our environment. I want to wish all of our listeners today a very happy Earth Day and encourage you to check out what they're doing at freshdelmonte.com. Learn more about all these programs and policies that Hans spoke about during today's episode. So that being said, uh, Hans, throwing the mic back to you for our final goodbyes and any closing remarks that you might have. Thank you, Lori. Uh, my pleasure. And uh, just want to remind our listeners to uh, check our El Monte Fresh uh, on Instagram. Uh, you can learn a lot more about our sustainability initiatives uh, there. Thank you for listening and uh, hopefully you can enjoy Del Monte products uh, soon. Thanks for joining us on this episode of the Produce Moms podcast. If you or someone you know would like to be a featured guest, just send an email to lori at theproducemoms.com. We know there is a Produce Mom in you because there's a Produce Mom in all of us. Join our community on Facebook and all social platforms. Help us change the way America eats. Thanks again for listening, and we'll see you next time.